So, losing weight, ripping vinyl. Uh, the quick run through uh, of the albums I have uh, ripped so far and my thoughts on it. Uh, a little bit trip down memory lane. Um, I must confess, some albums is bought uh, when all the record stores thought the uh, vinyl was uh, done completely and they was doing sales. So there are some really strange uh, albums in my collection, and uh, frankly, some of them are pain. Uh, but I have decided to riff everything from A to uh, well. Uh, <laughs> that would be the uh, equivalent with a Z on um, Z on um, the English alphabet. Well, um, so the first album uh, I ripped, and uh, the, the first few albums I ripped um, testing the system. So uh, all of these isn't while exercising, but uh, most of them are. So, uh, well. The first one was uh, ABC Beauty Stab. Not not a bad record. Uh, not. I don't really know why. I, I probably bought it because it was popular. Um, it, it ain't all bad. My 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 personal uh, taste is progressive. Um, I like uh, nowadays the Dream Theater and so, such. Uh, while I grew up with these albums, it, it was a lot of uh, Genesis, Yes, uh, stuff like that. So ABC Beauty Stamp. Well, it, it does what it does. Good. Uh, not uh, it wasn't a pain or anything, but uh, it's very brightly uh, recorded too, so it, it has no weight in the sound, so it, it doesn't really engage much uh, as it is. Uh, well, now uh, uh, a shame, shame in the collection. <laughs> Paul Abdul shut up and, and dance. Well, this was actually uh, a pretty good uh, music to uh, exercise to. Uh, um, unfortunately, I ripped it before I started exercising. So, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, well, it's uh, dance disco. Well, Olita Adams. Um, I buy. Well, what is it called? Circle of One. I haven't listened much to this one uh, over the years. Uh, it's one of those, uh, well, 10 kronos, that, that's uh, it's, it's uh, a dollar or something. Um, obviously bought because I recognize the name. It's a good art. It wasn't uh, as good as I hoped uh, in the genre. Even uh, I can, uh, I'm interesting in most uh, genres. Uh, just because I'm uh, musically interested, I, I play some uh, drums and uh, uh, make some music with some friends. So um, uh, everything is interesting. Uh, this isn't an important important record uh, in, in any means, but it was cheap. Uh, wow. Well. Go. On. This is a Swedish one. Other than a fuck, me a dream than you blew that. Their not exactly first uh, effort, but um, first uh, singular album, I, I would say. Um, and this was a huge success and hit in Sweden. I like it a lot. It, 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 it has, uh, it had for the time uh, uh, some uh, innovative sounds and uh, nice melodies. Uh, some of these, it, it's very synth heavy uh, for the time because of the producer, I think. Uh, I heard some of these songs played uh, 
with uh, only a guitar um, on stage and uh, the songs is really strong they they carry themselves without uh, pr production tricks uh, and stuff so uh, well I recommend it it's really good then uh, another same Aldous on a Falk, the Svåra Valet, uh, the hard choice. Um, it's a uh, few records later, I think, or maybe it's, it's third or something. Uh, 1987. Uh, it's uh, a good record. It's not as good as, good as the first one, but um, it carries its own. Uh, I recommend that one too. <coughs> Another uh, Aldous on a Falk, Indigo. Um, this one should have been uh, maybe less produced and uh, played more acoustically. Uh, because the songs are still uh, strong, but uh, the production style is uh, getting a bit tired. Ah, uh, what's this? A drop in the grey. Certain sculptures. Uh, obviously bought sheep. I don't even remember ripping this. Probably not good, sorry. But I have ripped it. I ripped it. Um, this is another one. I hardly remember. Uh, Adult Net. The, what, what is it? Honey Tangle. Um, that one, what? wasn't uh, it was it wasn't painful or anything but it wasn't good well Norway aha east of the sun west of the moon it's an uh, aha record it hoppy uh, would have been nice to Exercise too. Hadn't started yet there. <sighs> What's this? All the reserve love goes on. Yeah, totally forgetful. Forget the ball. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> A Swedish one. Susanne Alvengren, Ögon man aldrig glömmer. Well, it is one song that was uh, fairly memorable of this. The album as a total nothing. So, ballad type of thing. Now, some good stuff. Alice, Il Sole Nella Pioggia. Um, I really like Alice. Uh, ever since she uh, stole the whole backing band from Peter Gabriel and uh, started making music from that point on, uh, it was really good. Uh, and this is uh, one particularly good album. From her, it's not not progressive or anything, but it, it's it's good. Um, what do you, could you call it? Uh, some uh, pop with uh, some, oh, I guess, some progressive uh, thinking in that genre, at least. Well, <coughs> What do you do when your band name is um, occupied by other 
former members of the band. Yeah. You do what these two guys do. Just list all the surnames. Al Anderson Bruford Wake from Hell. This would be a Jason album. Uh, and this is a good one. Um, if you like jazz, buy this one. Ian Anderson, Walk Into Light. Yes, that Ian Anderson. And this is uh, kind of a synthy album. Um, I think really strong songs, good, rememberable uh, things that um, yeah. I, I really like this uh, growing up. Uh, I could probably uh, sing all the sing along at least with all the lyrics and all, everything. I, I listen a lot to it. Uh, it's, it's a, former, a forming album from uh, my future taste, you could say. Well, connection to yes. Uh, John Anderson, three ships. Oh, that way. <laughs> um, this isn't a good effort from him. Uh, I don't know what he was doing, really. Yeah. It's not super bad or anything, but well, being uh, on Anderson, um, Laurie Anderson, United States Live. I think it's a good document of what she was doing at that time. Uh, it is pretty boring. To wade through in uh, in succession, and uh, really, I when I rip this, I uh, paused after about two records and uh, didn't rip again for f several weeks. I, I was kind of the good stuff is really good, but uh, uh, you don't want to take it in one sitting. Uh, and as I said, a good document of, from the time, but uh, if you want the, the good songs from that, they are probably in this one, Laura Anderson, Big Science. Uh, a much better buy. This is a really good effort from Laura Anderson. And um, experimental, uh, you could say, at least, at the very least, and uh, it falls into the progressive thinking. Uh, I fell into as time went on, and uh, she developed that in Mr. Heartbreak, and uh, this is an even better album, um, and uh, she typically uh, works with uh, Peter Gabriel on a song, and uh, I think uh, they influenced each other really uh, at that time uh, a little bit at least yeah this is a oh this is another 10 kroner album i had no idea what i was buying uh, oh that's yeah what is called anna marie it wasn't as bad as i um uh, I feared, but um, nothing to remember. I wouldn't recommend buying it. Oh, and this one was uh, really. I probably bought this because of the look of the the cover. Uh, I didn't pay much for it. Uh, Arms akimbo. This is not the late show. Uh, I have nothing to say about that. <laughs> Swedish. Army of Lovers. Massive luxury overdose. Uh, oh, yeah, well, it goes maybe on the shape. It's pop, it's, um, Kind of fun. They, they, they. You can tell they have fun doing what they do. 
at that time. They started fighting after that one, so I don't know. This, the next one is much more my style from the, the time. Uh, experimental sales stuff. Uh, who's afraid of the art of noise? The first pulling album. But it, it was uh, almost revolutionary for me. It, it started uh, making me uh, buy synths and stuff and start experimenting myself. Uh, uh, really experimental for, for its time. Uh, I actually started buying everything from uh, Sang Tum Tum label, uh, which was a I guess uh, Island Records under uh, well uh, Trevor Horn yeah it was a uh, Trevor Horn's special project in on Island Records and uh, I, I bought everything from San and uh, it was always interesting uh, more out of noise you know sense nonsense. Still brilliant, really good. The ambient collection, out of noise. Um, well, they started uh, cashing in on the the all the small bits and pieces of their old records and doing collections. It was a sure sign of uh, them uh, going different ways and. Uh, it is a fun one. Uh, all the big mixing names having fun with the auto noise, the phone mixes. Robert God and LFO and Graham Massey and Prodigy and guys like that uh, interpret auto noise songs. Asia. Considering the members in uh, on this really should have been a lot better. Uh, it's brightly produced, it uh, has no weight in the sound. Again, it's, it's nothing wrong with the, the, the quality of the songwriting. It's just the, the doesn't go really anywhere. More, and of course I Continued to buy just because of the producing names. So, uh, hoping they will. This is Asia Alpha. Uh, it's more of the same. If you like Asia, so for some reason, they all do the work. So, I didn't stop Asia Astra. Uh, that was the first uh, album I started um, uh, exercising to uh, in these latest weeks. So um, everything here is a little bit fresher in memory. B-52s. Cosmic thing. This is probably the B-52's album to have if you should have any of them and it's, this is fun poppy stuff that uh, okay it, it, it was a good uh, exercise thing holding a rhythm to and, uh, and uh, stuff I uh, I kind of I kind of like it secretly yeah, yeah. <laughs> this now a really good record this is uh, if you should have one album from uh, that is not the greatest hits or something uh, from uh, Back When Turner Overdrive, it's not fragile. Oh, the reflections is. Um, this is the album. Uh, if you buy any uh, greatest hits, from uh, Back and Turner Over Life. At least half the songs from this album is on there. Uh, 
Uh, I kind of lo look forward to uh, saying something about this because um, for some reason I paid full price for this. Wally Badaru, Words of a Mountain. It's new age synth type of thing. I I had a period where I liked a lot of Tengen Dream and stuff like that. Uh, I thought this was uh, basic and set at the same time uh, innovative. Um, this one is impeccably recorded. It's really good production, but the music sucks. It should, I, I really don't recommend it. Uh, uh, some people m might like what he's done here, but uh, I, I couldn't wait for it to end. And it was obviously being new age, this thing, uh, not a very good uh, inspiring exercise record. It was more of a test of character. <laughs> This now, I understand why I bought this next album. It is probably so far, at least. I, I cannot think I have a, a worse album than this. Uh, this I actually thought it would have something uh, beneficial to it, but there is nothing. Not even the single hit song they had was good, and it's Bananarama Pop Life. Fucking awful. <laughs> uh, they can only have been living on MTV. Uh, this is an awful, awful, awful album. Uh, a lot better, not good. Bangles. Uh, it, uh, what is it? Everything is called. Uh, it's the Eternal Flame album. Uh, it's, uh, it's not bad actually, but uh, it's not something I'm going to put on often. Uh, yeah. And as a um, Genesis fan, Tony Banks, A Curious Feeling. Uh, it's kind of uneven, actually. Um, uh, I remember it very fondly, but that's because uh, there are four, maybe five, four songs, I think, uh, that really lifts this album. Uh, the others are uh, a kind of more uh, orchestral. Um, and um, in a way that doesn't really remember, uh, remind me of um, any progressive Genesis kind of stuff. More uh, explaining why he at the end uh, made a purely classical album. Uh, I, I think it started already there, uh, the, the development from that. And uh, he did some fairly questionable stuff. Tony Banks soundtracks. Um, this featured a, a lot of, uh, at the time, uh, famous singers. Fish from Arena, Jim Diamond, Toya. Uh, so, um, and uh, it's, well, soundtrack, it, it, it's supposed to be some film music style. Really, I kind of like the the the, the Toya song or the Line of Symmetry, but uh, the shortcut to somewhere was a uh, more of a straight pop song with uh, fish singing. So, uh, well, not the best he has done. Now, a couple of albums from Mark Lane's Harvest, October. Um, I remember this as be uh, being better than uh, when I replayed it for riffing. It's not a bad album. Uh, it, 
I don't I don't think they knew exactly what they were uh, aiming for when they did did this. Uh, it's uh, without form, uh, kind of small progressive, but they, they were moving clearly in a more uh, well half experimental uh, uh, pop direction in the end. So. And if you like Barclays Harvest, this is an interesting album to listen to um, for the base of what where they um, ended up. And uh, for some reason, I bought a bunch of albums from them. This one uh, called Twelve is uh, worse. Uh, this is even more just grasping in the dark. Then, jump forward in time a little bit to their album Turn of the Tide. Um, this actually, they have found a style and uh, they they do a good job on this one. They, they, it's, uh, it's probably probably the best part of Harvest album according to me. Um, uh, so, if you want to uh, see what they are doing, uh, this is the one. It's uh, kind of poppy. It has some um, some uh, well, for the time pop for the time had some progressive elements in it and stuff. But uh, uh, he has a voice. And a songwriting skill that uh, should have been able to be be more successful, but um, it's a little bit on the edge. Uh, it is it's it isn't quite pop and it isn't uh, quite anything else either. Uh, another one, victims of circumstance. It's um, a little bit like Turn of the Tide, but uh, not that strong. Uh, face to face. Uh, well, the best songs are good. The bad ones are really bad. Uh, now, when you go into a store and uh, just buy because it's cheap, you, yeah, yeah, well, <sighs> I have no idea why I picked this up. I, I wouldn't pay anything for this, but it wasn't as bad as I thought when I saw it. Uh, well, Bardo Shangri-La is, is cool, uh, but it's not good for anything. Uh, they are trying to copy good artists and uh, I, th they never succeed actually. Uh, but they fail a bit less on some songs. It wasn't painful. And uh, now a kind of a little uh, secret favorite artist. I think I have most of her albums. Beisha. This one is called Lawn of Warsaw, New York. Um, this one uh, is maybe one of her better albums. Um, and uh, a few songs um, are... Uh, you, you just want to start to dance <laughs> with it. Yeah, and this is not a dance record. It, it, it is some, uh, like, uh, soul. Uh, but with a groove. Uh, I recommend this album actually, uh, if you like soul, and a great voice, great recording quality, and um, yeah, I uh, I started to dance on the treadmill actually for some time. <laughs> Tony Basil.
her first album. It's Tony Basil. Uh, it was actually a lot worse than I uh, remember it, but I remember it fondly uh, for some reason. reason as a good pop rock album, but um, it didn't hold up. Uh, I think uh, she has. I have uh, some uh, album later from her uh, on CD uh, that's probably a lot better. So that's why that one not so good. I think I actually got this for free, even if it says. Well, oh, boom, there. <laughs> uh, 10 crowners there. Uh, but um, yeah, Basomatics set the control for the heart of the bass. Um, uh, yes, it looks and sounds good, rhythmic uh, dance, but. Uh, um, it's a copycat type of uh, artist, and it uh, it's not bad for what it does uh, and for the time. But uh, uh, for the these days, no, don't really recommend it. And now, a record that I really, really, really like: uh, Mike Bat, Schizophonia. Uh, this is kind of symphonic. Um, it's a lot symphonic. He, he uses an orchestra a lot, um, and the, this has several really strong songs on it, um, as well as a few uh, out there kind of things. Uh, but I highly recommend it. If you should have one Mike Bat album, it's that one. This is another Mike Bat album that I thought was really strong. Mike Bat Zero Zero. It's uh, excellent, but he goes way more into orchestral arrangement, and, and this is supposed to be a kind of a play, uh, story play. Um, but I, I really liked uh, the setting, the, the story, and the the um, interspersed uh, brilliant songs and, uh, and, and uh, lyrics actually and, and I'm not m much of a lyrics guy actually uh, I, I'm much more interested in, in the actual music and another Mike Bat album Six Days in Berlin uh, this sounds a lot like Zero Zero but with a lot more orchestration and uh, the actual more when he goes into the more poppy song stuff, uh, it is more seldom and uh, are not as strong as uh, Zero Zero. Uh, so, good album, but um, uh, both Zero Zero and Schizophonia is a lot better. Schizophonia in particular. Um, this surprised me. It's another cheap buy. Uh, Beat in time. Turn of time. Um, it worked really well, actually, uh, for what it is. Uh, kind of techno stuff. Uh, it, it, you can uh, feel it's old, um, uh, and you have to uh, put it in perspective to that. Um, almost all modern techno is better than this, but uh, it isn't bad. And uh, had uh, I had a few things I uh, liked. Uh, Yellow Magic Orchestra a little bit for the poppy stuff, and uh, I. Ex uh, started to listen to uh, what the other guys in the band uh, did, and this is Yukiri Takahashi uh, in the band The Beatniks. Um, this is typical Takahashi st style writing and uh, music. Uh, and if you like that, this is as good as everything else he does. Um, 
not my favorite, it's my second favorite uh, uh, Yellow Magic Orchestra member. Um, distant second, actually, but uh, it works. Then, rock, uh, rock pop, you could say. Pat Panato Tropico. This is clearly her best album. Uh, this, it has hits. It, ha it, it This is a really good album uh, for Pat Benatar. Uh, if you like Pat Benatar Tropical, I think it's the best one. Um, Seven the Hard Way, close second. Um, it has uh, lower dips. Uh, the, the worst songs are worse, but uh, the good songs are nearly as good as the ones on Tropical. A bit later, True Love, Pat Benatar. Uh, this is her uh, thing, Blues Soul album. Everybody did it at that time. Um, and she does it really good. Uh, it's completely different from the other albums. Uh, but all these three albums is uh, a good Pat Benatar collection. So, Jörg from Iceland. It's called Homogenic. I think this is Björk's absolutely best album. Uh, it starts to get, not many artists do this, but she starts to be more uh, experimental with the time. And this is the point where the experimental level is in, uh, just right uh, co compared to the more um, poppy, uh, techno, popular hit stuff. And uh, I, I, I really, I think it's maybe one song uh, that I have a hard time with it on it, but uh, everything else is top-notch. Björk at its best. Then we come to uh, where I am right now. Um, this was yesterday's last Dream Land album from uh, Black Box. Uh, I think this is a Swedish production stuff kind of thing. This is really, uh, I think early 90s is it? Uh, yeah, early 90s um, uh, uh, disco, uh, soul disco. And um, they do it really, really good. And sw Swedish production from this point uh, got really good at this uh, really commercial stuff. Um, some uh, some of this is uh, not so good, but the, the 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 hits are huge, at least here in Sweden. Sweden, so um, yeah. Um, but would I recommend buying this if you like that? Uh, maybe I well listen to it um, uh, first. Uh, uh, disco pop is fun to have uh, access to, so um, for some time. So uh, it hasn't been that experimental and progressive so far, but uh, I have been more thoroughly progressive in my taste uh, the last uh, well, 15 years or so, where I, in principle, didn't buy vinyl. Uh, anymore. Uh, I think I have one Dream Theater album, the latest, uh, where, where I bought the box, uh, the collector's box. Uh, so I have the vinyl from that, that one. But uh, otherwise, I uh, don't have that much uh, other than Genesis and Yes and uh, a few others. 
uh, on the vinyls. Uh, of course, uh, a lot of uh, uh, related stuff like Pink Floyd uh, and stuff like that will turn up. And uh, from now on, I uh, will uh, talk a little bit about the album as I have done the exercise and listen to it very freshly. So it will be two or three albums at a time. Today is Saturday, Midsummer's Day, 21st uh, of June. And this was um, the run through of uh, the albums I've written so far. And it's gonna be a lot more exercise stuff in the upcoming videos. So, thank you and 